What's up, nerds? All right, so uh, we got a clan board going on versus STTE tonight. Hold on, turn on my light. And our first player up is going to be Maiden Slayer, Masters 2 Toss versus uh, Smile. So, uh, yeah, as soon as I get my Observer in here, and as soon as I get Maiden in here, we will be good to go. There we go, we're gonna get Maiden in now. There's old Maiden. Uh, now we're just waiting on my observer. Oh, he's not coming. Okay, no obs. We're good to go. So game one is gonna be, uh, these two gotta do their vetoes A, B, A, B. And then after that, it's gonna be loser choice. And uh, Koiz, I never call you anymore because you're never here for me to call. It's the first time I've seen you online in a month. So as soon as these guys do their, um, sorry, I can't type and talk at the same time. But anyway, um, I need to refill that. Uh, as soon as these guys get their Vitas out of the way, we'll figure out what the first map is. Current map pool, best of four, all kill. So uh, first of four wins. We got three Masters and a GM, so it's all going to be pretty high level shit for the evening. Uh, looks like Forsaken's here, Koi's is here, Kingslayer's here, Zelot's here. There's a lot of boys here. <laughs> Gain says, get blood out of here. Alrighty. So, blood boils out of here. Defenders is gone. Right down first map. Okay, sequencer's gone, ascension is gone, so we have defenders, Odyssey, Proxima, and Abyssal left. So Defenders and Proxima are gone. I think that's 
all of them. I think that's all of them. I think it's gonna be Odyssey. One, two. Odyssey or Abyssal. Both of those maps are good for Brazos, so we'll see the 20 picks. Alright, he's uh, deciding on Odyssey or Abyssal, and we'll see how far it goes after that. Odyssey, I veto. So we're going to Abyssal. Custom. Abyssal Reef. I'm gonna pass to this guy, see if he can make with game art. Because uh, my thingy, my thingy dingy is bugged. Alright, so we're playing on Odyssey, good thing. And I think it's gonna be Z I don't know what race he plays. I know Gaines plays a lot of races, but Looks like Game Heart's broken all around. Somebody be really bad at counting probes that die. Oh well. Should be just fine. Otherwise, how's everyone doing today? Answer me. ZVP. All right, so that Terran games just played a minute ago wasn't really uh, his main race. It's all good. Alright, so I don't know if they're switching players or if this guy's a. Uh... Okay, this guy must be their caster, I would assume. Not sure. Not sure, not sure. Either way, anyway. ZVP on Odyssey LE. Let me shut the door so my dog isn't doing a position against to me while I'm trying to cast this thing. Alright, underway. Spawning in the top left-hand corner of Odyssey LE, representing Sonic Aftermath. It's our purple Protoss player, Maiden Slayer. And spawning in the bottom right-hand corner, representing STTE. It's our Teal Zerk player, Gaines. Alright, so if somebody can tell me what STTE stands for, that'd be great because I forgot to look at it. Uh, look it up beforehand. Anyway, Pylon being built on the low ground, looking like he's gonna try to play a macro oriented game. Gonna uh, get that wall up after he does his uh, probe scouting, make sure there's no cheese or anything like that going on, which doesn't look like this has, or he's gonna go hatch first down here, 17 hatch. So, the very first early seconds of the game, no cheese out of either player. Almost got that block, but wasn't quite early enough. No big deal. No big deal at all whatsoever. Uh-oh. 
He's not building a forge. He's just trying to scare him and cause, like, lost mining time. That's what he's doing right there. He's faking a cannon rush. Faking a cannon rush and going Nexus first. My man. Look at that. Look at that. Faking a cannon rush and going Nexus first. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at him baiting, man. I love it. I love it. That's great. That's that's hilarious. I actually heard of somebody doing that earlier today uh, when I was watching some old school VODs. He's losing quite a bit of mining time there. Pulled two extra drones, and these two drones have been down here the whole time. Uh, they're not attacking the probe, but this whole time this is actually a fake. More drones coming down here, you know, trying to prepare for that cannon rust that's not even coming. Two gates are on the way, the walls. Coming in nice and hefty for Maiden. The pool is about to finish up for Gains, uh, which it just has a little bit different placement on that. It's pretty far forward. But I would look for a couple Zerglings to be made. Go ahead and uh, take out that their pylon and then head across the map to find out that there is no Forge and that uh, he just got baited like a pro. But what's up, Sushi? Welcome to the party. Both players going to continue to macro up for the moment. Sixlings going to go ahead and head on out across. They're probably going to go ahead and check around there, maybe for another pylon or something. But he still doesn't know there's no forge yet. He does have this uh, overlord up here giving him vision, but I don't think it quite gives him vision of the wall. It does not. So I would look for those lings to go ahead and head out on across the map here very, very shortly. Looks like he's going to run around and check for some proxies, try to find himself a probe, which he is queued up to go past this probe here. Um, just exercising shit. Shit towards the east, Kappa. <laughs> You're terrible. But either way, these guys are going to find that probe, and that probe is going to die. Goodbye, probe. Goodbye, probe. Maybe not. Maybe you're going to make it. Um, they may want me to uh, restart the stream after this with a delay after this game, which I may need to do. Um, either way, no big deal. I will. But anyway, there's uh, five Banelings morphing in here on this side of the map. He said, I know you're clean. Uh, a couple of Depths going to get called out, completely surrounded, and wrecked. All four of these are going to die. One might make it with the shade. Nope, all four are going to die. But he does know about all these Lings coming across the map right now, 100%. He's got a Mothership Core. He's going to build a bunch of pylons and get a full wall off going here. And uh, this is now going to be a tough hold. He's going to have to get that overcharge out um, to try and shoot this away. The Banelings are a little bit late to the party, but here they come. This is officially 100% all in. So if Maiden can hold here, he should be able to win. It's 41 workers to 21. I can't believe I didn't see it earlier that he wasn't dr uh, draining any longer. Here comes a lot of links. He needs to back those sentries up. It's a really, 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 really awesome force field. That's going to go down. It's going to be just going to be a surround on these sentries. Going to have to fight with probes. This is going to be really, really hard to beat. Um, and he has enough minerals to go ahead and re-wall off. I would like to see him do that, but he's got to take care of these links first. But right now, more links are rallying across the map, and Maiden just doesn't have anything here to deal with it. So it looks like Maiden's going to... Looks like this is going to be the end of him. The cyber core is about to go down. Warp gate hasn't even been started. Um, a lot of probes went down, and there's only one immortal and two adepts here. These lings are going to go right into the main to uh, snipe some more workers. Still 31 workers to 25, but there are just no units here to fight. Nice probe stack in there, though, to try and take them out. And uh, probes are going down a lot slower than they normally would, but I mean, it's it's bound to there's bound to be problems. 
Really good probe micro out of Maiden. Um, well played, but now it's 34 workers at 20, and a lot, a lot of damage has been done. Drones heading out across the map for some reason. I'm not sure why. That's got to be some kind of miss rally. Gotta, gotta, gotta be some in. Here go the rest of the probes. Just 12 workers left, and there's still plenty of links. I don't know if he still has... Yeah, he still has these Adepts and the Immortals down here. I don't know why he didn't send those up to defend his... To defend his stuff. Um, but... Yay. Yeah, well, now this stuff's gonna die. 12 workers left over for Maiden. Um, he's got a little bit of minerals, so he can re-wall off. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be GG for Maiden, and, uh, STT is gonna go up one nothing. Um, no more Lings are coming across. He's, he's now droning up. So Maiden has a chance to fight his way back, but he's only got 15 workers to 40, and he's still trying to catch up, you know, clean up all of these Lings here. Um, I would really like to see him go ahead and start the Warp Gate research. He does have the money for it, but he does need to get back into pro production, like, super, super heavily. Uh, <laughs> Sean says, <laughs> but anyway, Sean says, uh, were those manor drones or a miss rally? I'm going to go ahead and say they were probably a miss rally, miss rally. Yeah. And a hundred percent right. Uh, a hundred percent right. That was a good hold out of, uh, out of STTE. But, I mean, he's sending these couple of mortals and adepts across the map because he just kind of, you know, has to. The mortal's going to get immediately surrounded. Barrier's going off, but, uh, I mean, that's about it. There's really nowhere to go from there. Oh, he already had Warp Gate? He finished it? I didn't see it. I'm a bad caster. There's no game heart. I can't see these things because normally it pops up over here and says completed. But there's no game heart here, unfortunately. So I'm going to go ahead and grab our second player, which is going to be... Let me pull up my lineup here. My lineup says Koi's. My second player is going to be Koi's. Let me get him. Let me get him in bite. Suggest a party. Bang. Bang. Jeez. So it's going to be uh, Koi's, his map pick. Hopefully he ain't smoke too much today. I'm just saying. The bam busy. The bust. Oh. The band bus. That was a fake. I have an exit first. All right, so uh, map pick goes to Koi's. says, yeah, go. And doesn't pick the map. We need a map. <laughs> yeah, Koi's gives zero fucks about the map. That is true. He said, just not blood boil. It's going to be Ascension. He had to drop out to uh, check the maps. Maiden Slayer has left the party. 
And, uh, yeah, if Koi's loses, you get the next map pick, Forsaken, because you are the next map. Um, so it is going to be Ascension to Ire. Hopefully Game Heart works. Shit in the chair. <laughs> he said, oh man, Gaines is like, I gotta go to the bathroom. He said, you shit, you shit, you shit your chair. Oh my goodness. He said, no chance, Rick. It's a nice chair, though. It is a nice chair, I guess. My nice chair is like a $50 special from old Wally World. I'm sitting here leaning all out on my camera so you guys can't see me and sitting here just chilling. I'm going to go ahead and update the score before uh, Insane Guy or Z-Lot yells at me. Right click. Thank you for the bits forsaken. 1,720. Very much appreciated. Um, just so anybody watching knows, uh, I'm not sure if anybody who's not in the clan is watching, but if you are, um, any donations we receive here at Sionic Aftermath go straight back into... Uh, putting on show matches and creating quality content. So any kind of support we can receive, whether it's a follow, you know, bits, or, or, or hey, I like your shit, you know. Any kind of support we can get would be would be really, really great to have, and we really, really, really want to um, get that support so we can keep producing stuff for you. So uh, Forsaken, thank you very much. Much appreciated. And uh, I know you got more money than that. So cheer more, bro. I'm just kidding. Now I'm going to update the score because Forsaken distracted me with his bits and making me forget stuff. Keep sending donations so I get distracted and mess up. Totally messes up my casting. It makes me freak out because I have to squint to read it and all that kind of stuff. Um... Alright, so uh, Koi's is up next, followed by Forsaken, and then it's either going to be Kingslayer or Jin. So, we'll see which one of them uh, decides to show up. <laughs> they click the, the, the watch ad there, just 30 seconds on the part of the screen. You can still watch the stream. <laughs> oh, nice, Forsaken. I don't even have ad block. I don't know why all you guys have ad block. So uh, as soon as Gaines clicks ready, we're gonna get right into it. Ascension to iron. It's gonna be ZVZ. It's like we're not even getting game heart, boys. It's broken. I think you get like five bits per ad, dude. Do you have any idea how long it takes to get 1,720 of those bits? All right, ZVZ, Ascension to Iron. I actually love this map. Ming, you shut up, Asian. Okay, you're good at math, you're good at spelling. We know, we get it. Just shh. Thanks, bro. <sighs> All right, Ascension to Iron for the 1500th time. Remember, yeah, thanks, how long, how long should I let you keep the lead? That's the question. Zlot, you shouldn't let him keep the lead for another 10 seconds. Get on that donate train, buddy. All right, control one, control shift seven. All right, spawning in the top left-hand corner, trying to put Psionic Aftermath on the board. Uh-oh. Tactical pulse. Tactical pulse. Anyway, it's Koi's. 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 He must have dropped something. I'm gonna practice my zoomy move. Ming used to be on the math team. Go do some more math, Ming. I'm gonna try, I gotta let him have it for a while. I know how much work that is watching that many ads. That is true. You just sit here the whole night we stream and just watch ads, don't you, both of you? I bet you do. Other side. Go shake that ass. That's a lot of ads. Uh, let's define 1720 by five, okay? So that's 
344 ads. That's 344 ads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so we're back in the game. Done introducing toys, trying to get us on the board representing Sonic Aftermath, all that good ish. And representing Psionic, or not Psionic Aftermath, STTE. It's our Blue Zerg player. Currently up one in the series. It's gains. I messed it up that time. Alright, anyway, um. This is going to be a mirror matchup, so we'll have to see where the builds start to deviate, and then we can decide on what these players do. I do know that Koi's likes his Mutalisks, so uh, we'll see if he decides to do that. Uh, looks like he's going to go hatch first, and Gaines is going to go hatch first as well, so Gaines is hatchery down just a split second before Koi's. Not a big deal. Yeah, you get mostly five per. He said that's why you're not Officer Kingslayer. Pretty much. Pretty much. Just because, uh... He just doesn't... I don't think he looks good in purple. I think that's the problem. That's why he's not Officer. He just doesn't look good in purple. But, uh... Gaines is complaining of a wee little bit of lag. I hope it's not too terribly bad for him. He's not pausing, so it shouldn't be. Uh, these overlords about to, you know, cross paths in the center of the map like they normally do. Um, so far these builds are pretty mirrored. Spawning pool went down just a little bit later for Koi's as well. Kingslayer, have you seen my pimp suit? <laughs> I look amazing in purple. I haven't seen it, but I think you should upload it to the Discord, brother. So I can share it to the world. So yeah, we'll have to see when these players decide they want to A, take their thirds, and B, drop their bane nests. And then we can get into the fun part of ZDZ, the Link Bane Micro. So, uh, all my friends are dead? Jesus. Just got dark in here. Calm down, Koi's. That's excessive, bro. All your friends are dead. Yikes. Sad story. And, uh, rip. Rip, bro. I'm not quite sure why he said that, but, uh, he did. And now Gaines wants an explanation. Alright, two lings, uh... Four lanes out for Koi's and six out for Gaines. So I would look for both of them to go ahead and start sending them out across the map. Baneling Nest goes down quite a bit earlier for Koi's than it does for Gaines. Uh, gonna send these four lanes out to get some scouting done. Third base goes down for Gaines quite a bit earlier than Koi's. So there's our first major deviation in the build. Gaines is looking to play more of a macro game. And uh, Koi's is looking to go ahead and start pushing out some aggression. I would think. He does go up here and scout this third, and he does scout the, the extra Zergling, so uh, he is going to start pushing some of his own out. Eight more on the way for gains, so it looks like he's going to go ahead and get aggressive as well. We'll have to see uh, what side of the map this aggression takes place on, but that is a lot of Zerglings for gains. Three Banelings on the way for Koi's. Um, I would assume he's going to go ahead and try to cancel Koi's third, because he's heading directly for it. Um, yeah, that's a lot of Banes on the way for Koi. Seven, to be exact, and eight more Lings on the way. These Lings for Gains are about to get in the front door. Five Banes, six Banes, excuse me, on the way for Gains. These four Lings going to come out and try to do something, and good, decent, little bit, kind of, of a Banely hit. Not, not perfect, but still good. And, uh, bang, that's a lot of damage on a lot of Banes. For just one. Well played, Koi's. Where's the rest of your Banelings? Up there still. Alright, so, uh... In order to save this third, he's gonna have to take out all these damn Banelings, which it looks like he is gonna do. And, uh, looks like he's gonna go ahead and bring a Queen down and a few more Lings, and he may save this. I'm not sure. Yep, he's gonna... S oh, man, that's gonna be really close. Oh, wow! 22 health. Four more hits on that hatchery. He'd have been dead. Uh, got some more lings rallying right in. I assume they will go directly after that third because it is so low. This uh, queen's very, very low on energy. I would suggest to transfuse. Koi's is going to move out. Um, these lings kind of went around the south, and they're going to go right in. Tap on that hatchery, and it's going to die. Uh, one bane for one ling there. He's going to continue to send one and one to uh, pick off these banes here, which he's... Not going to quite get that last one. He's going to run straight in here. Let's hope this Bane can do something about it. 
Oh, Bane coming in from the top, and that third for Poise is going to go down. Um, he is over here, however, in the main, going to go ahead and attack these Lings are just kind of sitting here right now. They could have uh, been doing damage that whole time. They're going to try and get some drones for their troubles. Meanwhile, some Lings are about to pop, and they're going to go ahead and take out these Bane Lings for Koi's. A couple drones do go down, not too many. I think about four of uh, Gain's drones go down, which isn't too, too many. Uh, looks like Koi's is going to go ahead and switch into Roaches. Has a few more Lings here and a few defensive Banes to defend against the possible aggression. That is a lot of Lings and four Banes, or five Banes morphing in, rather. Sorry. But, uh... Yeah, looks like these links here are going to be poison ready for a run by. He's going to get a rude awakening when he sees these Banes and all these other links in here. Really not much of a point. Another contingency of links going to go do a run by and try to check and see if Koi's has his third back yet, which he does not. Just uh, one lonely creep tremor, a few roaches, and a Bane link, a couple Bane links uh, here for Koi's. Um, there are enough lings here to kill off these roaches, uh, well, including these here. Um, not quite enough right here, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, looks like some drones and an evo coming out of game, so he's going to start trying to upgrade. I don't believe he has a roach warden yet or a lair on the way. Let's double check the natron, double check the third. Yeah, no roach warden yet. He's got four drones just hanging out and being bosses. Chilling. Um... So yeah, if he doesn't upgrade these lings or switch into roaches, it's not going to be too terribly long before he starts having a little bit of trouble. Um, he's going to need, you know, a few more lings in this because Koi's kind of has a, a, enough roaches and lings and banes and stuff out to defend pretty much, <clears throat> pretty much whatever he wants at this point. Going to go ahead and start spreading that creep. His third is about three quarters of the way done. A few more lings there. Not opting to check for the other third. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say Gaines. Oh, nope, he knows. He's seen it. All right, so Koi's going to go ahead and move on out across the map. There are a couple links here, but there's plenty of uh, queens here to handle these three main links and all that kind of stuff. Um, going to go ahead and morph up some Bane links and a few roaches heading out across the map. 18 links on the way and plus one missile for Gaines. His Roach Horn not quite completed yet. There we go, it just popped. So as look for him to start making those, but it might be too late because Koi's is already here. He's gonna go ahead and send every Ling he has across the map to uh, try and draw Koi's back, but Koi's has Queens here. Um, he can really afford to lose his third and a few Lings. He's gonna go ahead and morph in a couple of Bane Lings. Seven or 10 more sets, or 10 more Lings, quite a few Lings here. He's got enough to defend. He's going to be fine and just continue to do damage here. This natural is going to fall. 28 workers to 30, which isn't too bad. One roach out for... Ooh, watch out, man. Don't let them... Oh, all those banes crash into roaches. But he's going to split up, try to pick off this queen in the main, which he's going to get, and then he's going to go right to work on the workers. Has the roaches over here doing work in the third. And it looks like Gaines is going to be able to hold this for the moment. Um, still a few lings heading out here. Uh, he did get that base sniped and got quite a bit of workers. So Koi's does have a nine worker advantage, which is immensely helpful in a mirror matchup. They are going to spot these lings on the outside, and here go a whole bunch more lings ready for a run by right as soon as Gaines moves out across the map. These guys are going to head right on into the main and try to do some more damage. There's no queen here. There's no nothing here. Um, he did spot them with that overlord, so these roaches are going to come down to get these lings. And uh, Koi's going to get the surround on the Lings, and one of the Roaches then run right on by. Those Lings are, or, I mean, those Roaches still are fairly slow, but uh, the Lings are going to be able to do a little bit of damage. He's going to come up here, and he's going to get a few more drones for his trouble. Focus firing the drones, and that split right there, going to get another Queen and more drones for his trouble. Straight up, focus firing the drones. 12 workers left for gains, 33 for Koi's. And uh, there's really, I mean, there's plenty of units here for gains. But he really needs to move out across the map and get some damage done because at this point there's only 11 workers left. And that is a problem when you're facing 33 and uh, 33 workers and it's a mirror matchup. Look, more Lings dodging Overlords, well, except this one. They're all getting spotted by this one here. But Koi's just keeping gains on his side of the map while he just continues to macro up. And look at all these Roaches here. At this point, there really isn't much gains can do. I believe gains does have plus one. 
Uh, Koizis plus one has just started, but that upgrade advantage is not going to be able to keep up with that worker advantage. It's uh, This push I don't think is going to do too terribly much. It's going to take some excellent control and a great engagement out of gains. And right now, Koizis can just straight out produce him. Um, there's only three drones on this main, and 8, 11, 14 total on the, uh, on the main. And Koiz is going to meet him at the top of the ramp, and there's the GG out of games. There's just not enough. Just too much Koiz there, too much Zerg. But, uh... Yep. Ming makes a good point. Either way, so, uh, good game out of Koiz. Looks like he's going to go ahead and tie the series up 1-1. One, one. And uh, we're going into game three, guys. So far, super even series. We'll have to see who the next player out of, uh, who you might call it, is. Out of STTE. Can someone please tell me what STTE stands for? See if Koi's can get an all kill. Stay to the end. Is that what it means? Like for real? You're not trolling me because I'm gonna say that on the next introduction. If you're trolling me, I'm gonna be so upset. So okay, stay to the end. He told me in game and in chat, so that must be true, right? He puts it on Facebook, make it official. Why are you whispering and say yes? Yeah, I'm here. They're also called Perseus? Okay. Okay. Alright, so let's see what goes on. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's see the next player is. It might be that Sean guy that was in here earlier, maybe. Who knows? Not quite sure. Oh, nope, Sean's still here. He said, Don't ask me why I asked there later. I did ask. I did ask. I did ask in party chat, Sushi. Stay to the end. We're going to be here to the end of this clan. We're hopefully taking a 4-3 uh, victory so we can go through all seven games. Just saying. So yeah, we're just waiting on uh, State of the Ends, next player, and Jin is online, so it looks like he's going to be our our hinge point, our uh, GM player for the day. So say Koiz does lose his next match, after that we're going to have old Forsaken in here. Which will be, uh, yeah, it'll be uh, Kingslayer or Forsaken. Forsaken's up and he's here, so I'd rather play him, because I, uh, I know Kingslayer's a PUBG scrub. This STTE guy just said, are you in party with me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, no. Nope, I'm not. So I don't know what happened there, but I can't even suggest you to party. Trying to get him back in. I guess we're gonna go ahead and remake. Remake the party. Request to join party. Add to remake. And uh, yeah, so Jin's around, that's cool. I'm glad he's here. Just a party, come on. Come on, Koi's. Come on, Koi's. Wait a minute. Added boo, you profile. I guess this is their GM player for the night. Their GM player for the night. Let's see where he's ranked at on the GM leaderboards. 
he is 140, 76 and Uh, looks like it's going to be Pee Wee. That's who it is. There he is. Alright, now we got him in here. Cool. Thank you for the link, Sushi. I'm going to go ahead and add friend Jin. Let's see where he's at. He plays a shit ton of games, man. 155.5k. That's going to be a really evenly matched... Uh, So it's going to be, uh, wait a minute, there's a lot of people in this party. I guess they're Grandmaster players here. Not sure why you profile employees. Koi's mm -hmm. has never cracked GM. What the f- Alright, so it's good, we, uh, we just played Ascension, so Ascension is out. And I'm assuming it's going to be a TVZ. So as soon as we get the map pick, we'll be underway. So, uh, as soon as he picks his net, we should be good. I'm gonna take this opportunity to refill my vaporizer. Seriously, we're not allowed to reuse maps, right? Like, uh, like once you use a map, it's done. Until you've played all seven, I believe. You believe in life after love. I think that's how they want to do it. All right, cool. It actually opened up correctly at this junction. Normally it doesn't, but I do need to refill this because even though I quit smoking, Odyssey is already played. Pay attention, bruh. Pay attention. Oh, don't spill it. Don't spill it, Clarity. Alright, cool. Full up. Full up. You guys need to entertain me. I'm running out of things to uh, randomly babble about while they figure out what map... What map we need to uh, get onto. Come on, don't cross thread, you bastard. Proxima. So, he said, wow, the extra goddamn Proxima Station. Sorry, Forsaken. <sighs> the other team picked it. I couldn't stop it from happening. So, uh, well, I mean, as long as you have Blood Boiler Defenders. Well, you get to pick the map if Koi's loses, so you can make sure you don't play on that map. playing later. That's going to be our guy against Jin. So, uh, their GM is Adibu, if y'all don't know. And he seems to be just waiting on Pee Wee to re ready up. Um, well, right now this guy's a Terran. 
And it looks like their GM is a Zerg Forsaken. But you get to pick the map, and there's only been three maps used. So Defenders and Blood Boil are still there, but you can still pick uh, a Sequencer. You can still pick Sequencer. So hopefully Koi's loses now and Sequencer doesn't get picked. Da 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 TVZ. Race check, ready check, go go go. And the countdown has begun. He's a fresh Ravager army that will wreck your face. That is right, Forsaken. Ravagers are good units. Zerg Master Race. Why don't you just play Zerg, man? You don't have to worry about it no more, you know what I mean? Straight up. Oh, do I have a new mention? I do. Well, it's just that we're streaming. Obviously, because we're here. Yeah, but by the time Koi's loses, it could be only Defenders and Blood Boil left, because this is game three. Three of the maps are gone, there's only four, so... Yeah. Only four left, and he hates two of them. You could always Pro Brush. Just saying. Pick which way you die! basically how it's going to go in those two maps for Forsaken. He hates those maps with a fiery passion. Control shift 7, control 1 shift 1. Spawning in the bottom left hand corner. Proxima Station representing Sonic Aftermath looking to give us the lead. It's our pink Zerg player. Koi's. And spawning in the top right hand corner. Proxima Station representing Stay to the End. It's our Red Terran player, Pee Wee. All right, so getting that wall up early, as he should. Hatch first. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Is this just a drone scout? Is this a drone scout? Or is he going to the back door to drop Popsy Spines? Proxy Spines. What's up, Giggle Bear? Welcome to the party. Thanks for stopping by. I really want to know what this drone's doing. Is there a pull down yet? No, there's no pull down yet. Oh! Straight to the gold. My man. My man. Sounds good. Giggle Bear. I know him from somewhere. Can't figure out where from. But I do. I recognize the name. Anyway, Barrack's about to uh, complete. A SCV going out. I would assume to scout. Let's see if he gets close enough to this goal to scout or just follows regular pathing. Ah, that's right. He's from the Nidus. That's where he's from. I remember him uh, him saying, wait a minute, I'm Giggle Bear. There's Cuddle Bear. There's too many bears in this damn party. And that's basically how that shit went. But anyway, welcome Giggle Bear. It's always nice to have somebody from the Nidus hanging out with us. And he's not going to see this gold. He's going to go straight away into the main base to make sure there's no cheeky bullshit going on. Which I don't know if this qualifies as cheeky bullshit, but it is pretty cheeky. It's going to be super hard to defend if Pee Wee scouts it, though. Um, and that SCV is going straight to the natural. And as soon as he sees no base there, he's going to know something's up. And he's going to go look for it. And I would assume he's going to go ahead and check the... Uh, Check the gold first. Does turn the Reaper around and send him home. I guess he's, you know, prepared for something weird going on. Maybe he's going to check his back door, make sure there's no proxy hatch with some spines or some... What about Kingslayer Bear, right? Cuddle Bear over Giggle Bear, but I'm coming for him. Good luck, Giggle Bear. Cuddle's pretty good, man. I've known Cuddle a long time. He's a cool guy, too. He's a really cool guy. Double gas going down as long as well as the second barracks and a factory. This reactor has just finished up, so double marine production is on the way. And, uh, yeah, Four Ling's gonna try and snipe that Reaper. If he's not paying attention, he will get it, but it looks like he is gonna go ahead and micro it back. Transferred all the drones down to the gold, and this queen is already here, so that Reaper's not gonna be able to do too much to this gold base, and he's gonna have that um, super special extra mineral income to start. Taking his third at the forward location. I would like to see him get these rocks down so that this gold base is a lot easier defended. 
Um, but that Overlord's gonna go down pretty much for free. Supply blocking Koi's momentarily. He's got about 15 seconds before more Overlords come out. Good Ling Micro out of Koi's. Saving those Lings, keeping them away from the Reaper and dodging that bomb. Speed's gonna finish up here in about another 10, 15 seconds or so. And as soon as that does, he'll be able to outrun that Reaper fully. But for right now, that, uh, that Reaper can indefinitely chase and it's probably gonna go ahead and kill all four of these Lings. That Queen needs to get back on Creep. They're awfully, awfully slow off of Creep. Um, and he's gonna go ahead and chew the Reaper away, keep him away from his drones, make everything uh, all safe and sound here. <clears throat> but that Reaper is gonna stick around and see what Koi's is deciding to build. Double Evo Chamber coming down for Koi's. And his third hatchery is about to finish up as well. There are now quite a few Marines here. Um, still double Marine production. Starport's about halfway done. I'd look for two medevacs to come out for the standard 2-1-1 push to make its way across the map in about 45 seconds or a minute or so. Um, a couple extra queens coming out. I would like to see a little bit of static defense here since these rocks are up, you know, just to help defend just a little bit. This Reaper is going to get in and kill some drones here at the natural because there's no links to defend. It's kind of low on health. But uh, as long as he's not taking damage, don't lose don't lose that Reaper to drones, bro. Just don't... Oh, down it goes. All right, so Reaper's gone. That's the end of that harassment there. Stim's going to finish up in about 30 to 45 seconds. Ah, it's probably about 30 seconds, not quite 45. Um, but Koi is already working on that creep highway right across the map himself. Plus one melee. And plus one carapace on the end. A few more lings being produced, trying, you know, getting ready to defend that 2 1 1. Medivacs are on their way out one at a time. A couple of Hellions here, too. Which those will help out against lings uh, quite immensely. I'm not sure what the queen count is for Koi's, but I'm sh sure he's got one for each hatchery and then two spread and creep. So five total. And he is going to go ahead and take down those, ro take down those rocks. Good decision for Koi's making defending much, much, much easier for him. I'm going to go ahead and drop a creep tumor so he can get that creep over to that, uh, I guess you would say, n normal natural expansion for him. He's got plenty of links here to defend this uh, to defend this initial porch. Four, four Hellions in that medevac that Koi's does not know about, and that's going to be kind of hard to hold with links. He may have to pull his queens down. Uh, he's got three here, so he might be all right. Um, no bailing nest, and one one's not finished, but he's making a total shit ton of links and oh those are going right into hellbats no banelings or roaches here to defend this this just got a lot harder for koi's koi's is gonna have problems here he may have to sack this base those hellbats are gonna keep those links away momentarily and all those links are about to get roasted he needs to kill the hellbats pull the drones koi's is in trouble here this gold base is definitely gonna go down man these four hellbats made this a thousand times harder to hold and there is no baneling nest He's making a shit ton of lings, but hellbats do very, very, very bad things to lings. And not all of these hellbats are, are morphed yet. There's only four here. There's another one that can that can join the party. And hellbats are, are you know, they're not mechanical. They can be healed by that medevac. So he's going to need a lot of transfuse and a lot of queens. He's going to have to pull the boy. He's going to have to do something. But this is probably GG out of toy. So Forsaken, get primed and ready, man. Looks like you're playing on probably sequencer. But either way, well played out of Pee Wee. If this natural goes down, there's just nothing Koi's can do. There's, I mean, there's units over here that aren't even being used. There's the GG out of Koi's. Very, very well played. I did not see those Hellbats coming. I missed the armory. So, uh, yeah, Hellbats are really good fucking units. <laughs> Works out very well played, Pee Wee. Good job, Forsaken. Get your ass in here, bro. Where are you at? I know we're friends. I know we're friends. Where are you? I don't see you. Maybe we're not friends, but I know where you are. And I'm going to find you. I find you. And there he is. Invite to party. Map pick. Alright, so uh, looks like he's going to be PVT. And Forsaken is going to go ahead and make his choice. Going to go ahead and upgrade the store score at the moment. It's going to be 2 to 1. 4 stay to the end right now. <laughs> Did 
This is game number four. Carrier has arrived. And uh one of them. Hold on, I will get to that in just one moment. Actually, you know what? It's probably already disappeared. Somebody tell me who that follow was so I can thank them properly. And, uh... Sequencer, Defenders, Blood Boil, Proxima's done, Odyssey's done, and Abyssal is left. And Abyssal is going to be the last map left available to play. I would go ahead and say that Forsaken is probably going to uh, pick Abyssal. That is a pretty good map for Protoss, so... Thanks for the follow, Eddie. Eddie, thank you very much. It's very much appreciated, and we're glad to have you here. Very much appreciated. So it's going to be Abyssal, I guess, out of Forsaken. Tell me quit being such a crybaby. Crybaby. All right, so WCS Game Heart is now on the way, so I can actually cast like a pro. All right. I'm Manu Tatu. I hope I didn't say that wrong. But either way, thank you for the follow. And uh, much appreciated. We are glad to have you. I hope you enjoy your time here. It's going to be Forsaken versus Old Peewee. Protoss versus Terran. Slash Lobby. Ready? As soon as both these players are ready. We will click the button. Go go out of Forsaken. Looking for a go go out of Peewee. And we will be gone. The 10 second countdown will be in. We'll begin and we'll be into a PBT on Abyssal Reef. So, yep, he's good to go. Game starting. Right, for a second, don't let me down, bro. Channel your inner Neeb. Talk to the Neeb gods and borrow some of his powers. Have to see what Forsaken has up his sleeve for old Peewee. That was a really, really strong push out of Peewee like that. And Koi's is no slouch as Zerg, so I'm actually kind of surprised that that caught him so off guard. But very, very well played, and it happens from time to time. Pepsi. This is a problem. I'm out of Pepsi. And I'm not sure what to do about it. Alright. Well, loading in. Seems to be a little bit slow. I don't think it's like broken or anything. But uh, we are loading in just a wee little bit slow. Kingslayer. Get out of here with that nonsense. Get out of here. I'm sure you think Starcraft's a dead game too. Ooh. Coke is better. <laughs> Thought we were friends. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to rethink that after that comment. Coke most certainly is not better. Control Shift 7, Control 2, Shift 1. Spawning in the top left hand corner of Abyssal Reef representing Silent Aftermath trying to tie the series back up. It's our pink Protoss player, Forsaken. And spawning in the bottom right-hand corner, representing State to the End, with an amazing Hellbat Marine push last game. It's our Red Terran player. It's Pee Wee. All right, so let's see what happens. Let's see what they decide to do here. Starting to wall off quite early. I'm not sure. I really, really need that. Oh yeah, Adepts, you need it. Never mind. I'm a liar. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. You definitely need to wall off. Keep those Adept shades. They do uh. A lot of worker damage. Gateway going down for Forsaken. It probably ended up being... Oh, double gas. I don't think that's very normal against Terran, but... Mm, excuse me. Uh, Kingslayer, I have to confirm that for me, because I don't really play Protoss that much, and I'm not 100% sure on how that goes. I think this probe's just going to go out and get an early scout. Make sure there's no shenan sh shenanigans going on. And after he leaves the uh, main base of Peewee, if he can get back out, he's going to check for proxies and... 
all that fun stuff too is due diligence. He actually might be going right to check for proxies right now or proxying himself. I forgot. Protoss does that shenanigans. SCV heading out across the map to get a scout. Let's see if a pylon gets dropped here. He is playing with a probe and there's the pylon. So what's this going to be? Is this going to be proxy Stargate? Proxy what? Proxy something. Cybercore is down at home. Third pylon coming, or second pylon coming in at home. This SCV is going to come in, probably do a little bit of a uh, pylon check. See how many are, see how many are here total. And realize, hey, there might be something out on the map. I'd look for that Stargate to get dropped down here rather quickly. Oh, Proxy Robo. Uh-oh. I, I for sure 100% saw a Proxy Stargate coming. And he went Proxy Robo. Warp Gate has just started up. Mothership Core on the way out. I don't know what's going to come out of that Robo. Probably Immortals. Double Proxy Robo. This is the Immortal push. This is going to be the Immortal push. You need a bunker, bro. There's your bunker. Alright, you're going to need that. You're going to need it. You're going to need it. I'd like to see a Warp Prism come out of one of these too as well. Uh, oh! Gateway for faster warp ins. For warp gate. He is going to scout this proxy almost right away. Um, look for him to go ahead and start making immortals. And maybe a prism to help micro those immortals. We'll have to see how that goes. Another pylon going down. More marines coming out across the map. He's going to need to chrono this immortal out. Or that uh, robo is just going to go down. Uh, definitely doesn't want that to happen. He's coming right after the pylon. That. Oh, four more marines. This just got hard. And a Warp Prism on the way. He's going to be dropping quite a bit of um, first initial piling goes down. He's going to go ahead and focus on the other one. He's going to need to drop another one or it's going to unpower. That Immortal does make it out. Let's see if the Warp Prism can make it. It is still powered by the other pylon. He's going to have to micro this super, super, super hard. Oh, man. Oh, no. That is unpowered. So that Warp Prism can't come out. And Warp Prism is not quite done yet. Mothership Core is coming, so he's going to have to... He needs to, to, to play this just right. Um, and there we go. Oh, that was not the greatest decision. Don't lose that Mothership Core. Do not lose it, Forsaken. What are you doing? Alright, guys. So, this just got super effing hard. There's a bunker dropping right next to these. This proxy is all but cleaned up. Everything is underpowered. One adept being made at home. Forsaken is now playing from behind. 23 workers to 28, two base to one. And all of Forsaken's tech just went down. Yikes, and he can salvage that bunker, so it's really not he's really not losing anything by it. Three more Marines sitting at home. I don't recommend he pushes across the map for that. I'd like to see him go ahead and start up his Mothership Core as well. Oh, wait, he already got another one. Bad caster, bro. I don't even have a game heart this time. One Widow Mine gonna go ahead and burrow directly on... You need an Observer to see that, bro. It's okay. It's okay, the Robo's going down. You'll have an Observer momentarily, and then you can kill it, and then you can do your thing. Um, still down here cleaning up this... And this with a siege tank actually looks pretty scary. Um, warp gate is done, and there's three warp gates here. But Forsaken really can't spot it. That uh, that sentry there is going to be very, very important to hold it. But this siege tank is going to be pretty hard to engage. These guys are going to have to shade right on top. There's quite a few marines. Another siege tank and more marines heading across the map. Our friend Forsaken is in some serious trouble. That Widow Mine there is stopping a lot of things from going on. He's going to need to uh, use every warp cycle he has on Adepts. Force field that ramp. Keep them from coming. He's checking for a natural first. There's not going to be one, and he's heading straight for the ramp. Going to siege up right here at the bottom. He has that medevac to get the high ground, and he's going to start hitting that there. Uh, that pylon, that pylon's gonna go down really quickly. Second tank joining the fray. He's gonna seed somewhere right over here. Um, yeah, Forsaken's in trouble. He can just turtle push his way right on in here. Um, there we go. He is gonna go ahead and uh, take out that mine, scan, and lose the observer. He really only needed the observer for the mine. 
And, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty hard for Forsaken to answer this. There's uh, another Siege tank, a Viking coming across the way. And Forsaken just doesn't have anything here. He is going to go ahead and force field the... That medevac is going to go ahead and pick up and save him. Uh, a lot of these... And this is a pretty strong contain here. One Immortal about to come out, but one Immortal cannot beat three tanks. Especially when those tanks have low ground advantage. There's one observer here, and as soon as he moves, Peewee's going to scan and snipe it. Uh, Stalker and a couple more sentries, but this is... I mean, this is the epitome of a contain. Uh, he's going to bring these... Oh, he's going to shade right down on top of the tanks. I think that's a good idea. Uh, going to go ahead and cancel that shade. He, he could have done it, taken out the tanks. But those tanks would have done a number on the Adepts. And he's going to try and go ahead and move in here. Guardian Shield is pop. He's going to go down and try to take out the tanks first. Those Marines are going to go to work on that gateway. He's going to get two of the tanks right away. But now he just has sentries and a couple of Adepts to fight these Marines. Looks like he can beat this force. Uh, for the moment, but there's still more Marines and Medivacs on the way, and this is just basically, I mean, the rally's there. Another tank moving in to, you know, try and replace the two. That Observer is going to get sniped immediately right there and Forsaken. It's 86 supply to 56. He really doesn't have an answer for this, so Jin is going to be up next, and if he's not here, it's going to be Kingslayer with hashtag the build, but well played out of Peewee so far. These couple Marauders here aren't going to be uh, aren't going to be phased too much by these here Adepts, but really all he's got to do is draw Forsaken into the cannon fire, and I mean, that's all she wrote. Cannons are so strong. There's two of them here, and I think there might be another one coming across the map. Nope. Just the Liberator and some more Marauders, and uh, yeah, none of Forsaken's armor shoots up, and there's the GG. You know, when he spotted that proxy early and killed it off, that just really put Forsaken in a position where he could be contained. And a contained Protoss just doesn't have the money or the income to build an army to get out. Um, unfortunately for Forsaken, that was a very short-lived game. I think if he may have, like, overcharged the other one, he might have lost the Robos, but he might have killed enough units to at least buy himself just a little bit of time. However, well played out of Pee Wee taking out two of the uh, better players on Cyanic Aftermath. And, uh, yeah, that's 3-1. That is 3-1. Let's go ahead and update the score for the people so they understand that STTE is on match point. Let's go ahead and get our last player in here. Jin Sushi sent me Jin's profile. Jin is online. Let's go ahead and more. Add friend. Chat. Jin is offline. You know what time it is, Kingslayer. Oh, no, he is here. He's a liar. He's here. Hi, Jin. Hi, Jin. Invite to party. You need to show us the way, Jin. You need to show us the Terran way, my friend. We are on match point, buddy. But yeah, it showed offline on my screen, but he is indeed here. And map pick is on Jin. And Pee Wee is coming back to the party. So uh, my favorite matchup that I actually happen to know the absolute least about is next, man. I love me some TVT. I love it. It's so much fun to watch. And Odyssey, I believe, is gone. Odyssey, Blood Boil, and Sequencer. It is TVT. And we're going to Blood Boil, boys. So we're going to create this with mod, WCS, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit enter, WCS game heart, create game. And uh, as soon as we get the countdown started, I'm going to run to my fridge as fast as possible, grab a soda, and come back before the game loads in. 
and we are entering the lobby as soon as both players are ready and where they need to be. It's not me versus Jin. I'd get wrecked. I'd get completely destroyed. Jin is ready. As soon as... As soon as... Soon as all right, starting the game, and I'm starting to run for a soda. Boom. I gotta keep, I gotta get a mini fridge in here. Totally do, but I made it. I was sitting down before the game loaded in. Control, shift, seven. Control, three, shift, one. Spawning in the bottom right-hand corner of Blood Boil LE, representing State of the End, trying to end it early for his people with a 4-1 victory. For his people, for his team, it's Pee Wee. I have hardwood floors, man, I would've fell. I would've fell down. And spawning in the top left-hand corner, representing Sonic Aftermath, our savior, our god Terran himself. It's Jin. Okay, so Jin plays, like, more games than anyone I've ever seen, almost. He has, like, 400 games played this season so far. He literally gives zero Fs. Try not to say too many swear words. Um, but so far, pretty mirrored builds. Uh, gas is a little bit later for Kiwi. Double gas for Jin, so I think this is going to go down. And then right about, this thing's going to build a reactor on it. Right about here is going to be a factory. And then when this is done and this is done, this is going to jump up. This is going to jump up. This is going to land here, get on the reactor, and then he's going to start double making cyclones. I'm calling it right here. Sushi, you played more than 500? When do you even play, bro? I don't even see you play. Uh-oh. Something happened. Tactical pause. Tactical, tactical, tactical pause. Nerd. Kingslayer said it right. Nerd. Alright, so we can still move around the map and stuff and look at things and, you know, compare and contrast. They both have the same effing thing. Double gas, double gas. So, uh. Yeah, and Twitch. Dot TV slash Psyonic Pee-wee is getting a little bit of lag. He was at 500. He's back down to about 300. Sad story for the moment. I hope it doesn't affect him too bad. All right. Factory is down for him. Factory has also started for Jin. Reaper going to come out, and then there's going to be a reactor. Reaper, then reactor. So far, mirrored builds. Both players doing the same exact thing. Uh, Jin's kind of sort of positioned for a wall-off. As soon as he builds that reactor, the SCV is going to come right in and see that the same build is going on. Orbital commands on the way for both players. And that Reaper is going to eat that SCV alive. Bye, bro. Oh, two Reapers. So it's going to be double Reaper and then double Cyclone, I, I'm thinking. I think I read about this build somewhere. I think Pig says it. Oh, damn it, he's getting Hellions. <laughs> the trickery. This guy's getting the Cyclones, though. He knows what's up. All right, so... I feel like since this is a cyclone, Jin's gonna have a little trouble because he's doing Hellions. Um, one, one, one out of both players. Starport finished up or started uh, quite a bit earlier for Jin. I'm not sure why a Hellion opener, but it did look. Like, it does look like you got the first shot off on this year Reaper. Um, the cyclone is about to finish up, and the reactor is on the barracks, and a tech lab going down onto the factory for Peewee. We'll have to see, and he's, he's trying to chase down these Reapers and, you know, 
basically sitting here waiting on a deer, drinking beer, and wasting bullets chasing these guys around. And good, good bomb drop there. Second one does get dropped by, or does get dodged by Jen. And these Reapers are going to do cool things. And the Hellion's all like, why you do this to me? I'm all left out. I'm sad. And they're going to jump up. That Hellion's not over here. Reaper gets caught out, and it's going to go down. Advantage Pee Wee. And this Reaper's going to die as well. Oh, nope. He got one. Advantage taken back. Well played, and this Reaper is going to get queued up around the map, and Jin is going to continue to try to hunt it down while dropping his third command center. Raven's on the way for both players, so now I don't think this Psych... Well, they both have one Cyclone, I think. He may have two. Going into... Nope, just got one. Double Marine Production, so no player has a clear lead at this point. A two-worker advantage for Pee Wee. It's pretty negligible when you take into account the mules, but uh, Double Marine Production for Jin as well. Tech Lab now being added to the factory of Jim. And Tech Lab also added. And Seeds Tank production has started for Pee Wee. So he's going to have a little bit of a higher uh, Seeds Tank count. Another barracks going down. Another barracks on the way as well for our friend Jim. Say hello to my little friend. Stop spamming emotes. Nazi bot got you, bro. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Second Raven on the way out. And... Kiwi opted to go for a Viking instead of a Raven. Uh, he's going to know about that tank now. Just took a little pot shot there at the uh, Hellion. Just try to get a scout, see what the army comp looks like, and uh, see where to go from here. Reaper's going to come down, try to be annoying, delay this uh, command center for a little bit, which he is going to do. Going to send a couple of Marines down here to shoo that away and complete his uh, command center. So right now it's currently one base versus kind of two, not really. Oh, time out Kingslayer for 30 seconds. You're nothing but scrap metal, bro. <laughs> Nazi bot versus Spartan Federation. Go Cyanic Aftermath. What's up, Spartan? Thank you for coming to the party. We are glad to have you here spectating. <clears throat> it's always good to have you. A couple of tanks, Ravens, Marines, typical TVT-ish. And this Hellion's still alive. Hero Hellion. Doesn't have any kills yet. But he's hanging in there. I know you're on Cyx, buddy. Just saying hello. And welcome to the stream. Cyclone does have the tower, so he's going to see this push come from a mile away. Hero Psych Hero Hellion is about to die. How? Oh, rip. Spare tire. Anyway, but now, uh... Peewee's well aware of this push. Going to go ahead and get himself in position. It looks like, uh... Looks like Peewee's going to have a rather commanding air control. Don't lose this Raven. All right, good point defense drone there. Um, but the Viking production is definitely... What's up, Kitty? Welcome to the party. Thanks for stopping by. So it's going to be four Vikings right now. I'm not sure what the Viking count is. He, yeah, Jin has no Vikings. He's definitely going to need some before he can engage because those Vikings are pretty much just going to snipe out his Ravens. And... Uh, yeah, pretty much you just got to have him. Jin going to go ahead head back home, take his third, macro up. And uh, let's see if he moves into any kind of uh, Viking production. Right now he's making... I don't even know where his starport is. Ah, oh, there it is. Right, oh, there we go. He canceled that medevac and started making Vikings of his own. Uh, two Vikings in production for Jin. I would look for him to get like f between four and six of those. Just so he can keep air control. Um, only one Raven, it looks like, for Pee Wee to the two of Jin. I know that's like not massively, massively important, but it can play a big role because of Seeker missiles, auto turns, point defense drones. Just anything to reduce damage and deal damage for the cost of energy rather than units is good. You know, free damage, everybody loves it. That's why people hate Stormhouse. It looks like Pee Wee's gonna go ahead and move out, try to take his third. I'm going to send one lonely marine out there to take that tower. Good idea. He actually might be pushing out across the map to try and get some damage done. We'll have to see how far he decides to go out. He does not have his third dropped yet. And it's 56 army supply for Jin to the 51 of Pee Wee and a 5 worker advantage for Jin. Um, seeing as they both have mules, that 5 worker advantage is going to play a small part. 102 supply to 90. So, uh, Pee Wee slowly but surely kind of falling behind a little bit. Um, still a pretty even game. I'm not saying, like, he's he's falling behind. Like, there's a massive advantage for Jin here. 
because there isn't, but this one Marine's going to go out and spot for when the army decides it wants to move in. He is going to come down here on the low ground. He might try to siege up on the low ground, grab this sensor tower over here, and uh, he's going to use these Vikings and this medevac to spot the high ground. Four Vikings and two Ravens will beat that con. Oh, one Raven instantly goes down. Uh, point defense drone goes up. Some of those are, yeah. Air advantage now gone. Just one medevac left for, uh, for Peewee. And he's going to go ahead and get pushed back. He did get both of those, ra or one of those ravens, which is good. It's a decent pickup, but he lost uh, his raven and four vikings himself and almost that medevac. So he's going to have to turn around and head on home. And uh, now it's not so much a commanding advantage, but there is an advantage for Jin. Uh, let's see what the tank count is. We have two tanks here for Jin, or for Peewee, two more back at the base. So the tank count looks pretty even. Wait, I can just hit you. Five tanks versus four tanks. 35 marines, or 36 marines versus 36. One raven versus none. So I would say the comp advantage is going to go to Jin right now. Uh, Jin not looking to push out across the map. It looks like he's just going to go out and try to take the watchtower and see what's going on. But, uh, yeah, going to go ahead and grab that tower. A couple more marines going out to see what's going on. Try to find exactly where the army is for Jin. Two marines, two beat one. Tower control, Jin. But yeah, these two marines are going to go out and look for Jin's army, but he's, uh, he's chilling over here. Two marines are going to come out, and since one of them was already almost dead, Jin going to try to move out of the vision of this tower, which he does uh, immediately. So he's still going to go unseen. Hopefully Pee Wee doesn't push out across the map, because if he does, Jin's going to have some trouble, because he's all the way the F over here. And uh, yeah, it looks like he's heading towards the back door, and these rocks are not broken down. So he's going to be able to get in here and get in a good position. There's no sensor tower for Pee Wee, so it, this is going to go completely unscouted. He's going to be able to get in here and siege up, and there's some more lag, bro. Gains! You madman! Oh boy. He's going to get right into position. He just now sees it for the very first time. Drops a scan on the natural. Gains left the game to avoid. He needs to get away from that there, uh tower but these tanks are sieged up marines are here he does have the air control 100 there's only a medevac and one viking here and these tanks are just going to shell away at the marines and now there is he could really just even land these vikings right on top of the tanks and take them out but at this point it doesn't really matter he has the air control eventually peewee's going to run out of scans and he's just going to be able to inch these tanks closer and closer and closer and closer and just get shots off uh, he can still reach this hair turret. He's going to go ahead and take that out so he can uh, keep his Viking safe. And he can reach this command center from here. Very, very good positioning out of Jin. A 16 Marines being loaded up there. Um, and this Raven is super low along with the Viking. Jin is, Jin is really good. Very good positioning out of Jin. The scan goes down. He can't quite reach those tanks where they are now. The rocks... Rocks are down. Oh, he can reach it with that one. There it is. You found it, but your uh, tank has already gone down. Um, good positioning out of Pee Wee as well. Here come these Marines coming in from the top, and I don't... Yeah, there's some uh, turrets over here, so I wouldn't suggest flying in and dropping there. That might hurt a little bit. Taking the gold is Jen. Gonna go ahead and unsiege and back away. Probably a smart decision. Um, but... I mean, he delayed mining from that third for a very, very long time. I'm sure there's, yeah, the mains almost mined out. So basically a one base economy right now out of Peewee versus the three, almost four base. Well, it's going to be three base because his main is probably just about mined out as well. Yeah, it is. So three base, but this is a gold. So this is like a base and a half on this. Double gas about to finish up here, and I'm pretty sure those were enriched too. So the income advantage is going to be vastly in favor of our friend Jin. Look at that. That's a lot of red on that bar for our red Terran. So Pee Wee's definitely got his work cut out for him. 170 supply to 102. As our good friend Todd would say, the soup does not lie. Um, yeah, this is going to be really, really, really hard to hold. I'm not sure what the tank count is. 
We got five tanks to five tanks still, so an even tank count and a massive marine advantage for Jin. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and scan and move in. And these tanks are not sieged. Okay, they're going to siege up now, but most of these marines are already going to be gone. And he's just going to be able to push in, clean them all out. And there's the GG out of Pee Wee. Jin taking it to 3 2, catching Pee Wee out of position. So. And he was Masters too, that is correct. GG so far all around. Jin proving to be the superior player in this game. So the next player is going to be, I'm not sure, but he's coming out of STTE. Hopefully this guy's not AFK. Oh, yep, yeah, there he is. All right, so next player getting his map choice. I'm going to go ahead and get in the game and get underway. Gin tonic. That's right, Sushi. That's actually a good drink, buddy. It's actually a pretty good drink. I enjoy it. Know what I mean? So, what is Koi's doing playing Overwatch? That bastard. Alright, so, leave that whisper. Leave that whisper. Next player out of STTE, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Pee Wee is done. Jin reigns supreme. Let's go ahead and update this score. 3 to 2. Sam got your math looking to tie it, man. It's getting kind of late. Jin, you need to start cheesing or something, buddy, man. I love me some TVT, but I gotta get up at 4 a.m., you know what I mean? Nah, I'm saying. Nah, I'm saying. I don't want to the movies tomorrow night. I gotta work Saturday. Oh my god. Uh oh, where's old STTE going? Oh, he's, uh, he's re logging. Dang. For the party stuff. Uh, he, he's bugged. Like, after every game, he somehow instantly gets kicked out of the party. Um. Oh, yep, there he is. He is coming back. Invite to party. You can leave that whisper now. We ha we're on our last player, so they are on match point. But... Leave that whisper as well. As soon as we get their next player, we'll get a map pick and get right underway. I, I don't get a cat nap. I work from 4 a.m. till about 7 p.m. every single day. That is the construction life, if you will. All right, so let's see who's coming up. Yes, sir. It is a 3-2. And uh, Jin's going to have to win two more games. He's taking his first, but he's going to have to take the next two as well. Let's see if he can make it happen. Let's see if he can make Terran dreams come true. Let's see if he can make Kelagod look like a noob. He's got a channel as Inner Major, or as Inner Beyond. Inner Inno. Inner Maru. There's a lot of good Terrans out there, man. Please pass you the mod. Promote to leader. Give it back so I can make the game with game hearts. Thank you. Map gold question mark. Oh man. Just waiting on a map pick. Blood boil. Oh wait, no, I lied. Uh, a sequencer and defenders. So it's gonna be sequencer or defenders. Um, one of the meme maps is already gone. I don't know what race this guy plays. Let's go ahead and view his profile and find out okay so he's been great master one other time 2015 season three he's got 242 toss wins so it's gonna be pbt i would assume he plays the other races but uh he's only got 29 games played a piece with the other two so he's gonna play on defenders landing versus t there it is create with mod WCS, enter, 
create game, WCS game art. All right, so TVP Defenders Landing. Let's see how this works out. Um, yep, yeah, he's already set his protos, so Jin is gonna be our Terran. Jin is ready. Gold. Gold is also ready, I believe. Go go! Countdown has begun. Wait, what? I want to make sure this guy doesn't want to be in this game. Um, I need to invite him to game. Okay, let them play. He says, let them play. Okay, okay. Alright, there we go. He's in there. And we are starting. Let's see if he can actually stay in this time. He can. He can. So, underway we go. PVT, Defenders Landing, WCS Game Heart. Love it. Love it. We'll have to see if these guys decide to go ahead and take down these destructible racks to kind of defend off this second choke coming into their natural but uh we're gonna find that out in just a minute control shift seven control two shift three spawning in the bottom left hand corner of defenders landing representing state to the end on match point it's gold the gold <laughs> protoss and spawning in the top right hand corner, representing Sonic Aftermath, looking to tie us up and take us to a game seven. Just like the WCS finals, bruh. It's Jim. Red Terror. Alright, so that was really, really, really good out of Jim next player. I know Jim prefers to play macro oriented games. We'll have to see what his strategy here is against Protoss, and we'll have to see if the Protoss decides to do that, uh that adept phoenix shenanigans or go with a more gateway oriented comp Jin gonna go ahead and go down send that SCV out for an early scout make sure there's no uh, shenanigans going down gonna headbutt that probe on the way out let's see if this probe tries to be annoying and kill that SCV there to delay the barracks um, looks like he's gonna go scout first at least but he's heading right back to it come on hit it hit it punch him in the face oh you're no fun Gonna patrol try to delay that command center from building on the low ground for a little bit. Doesn't get the block in for <clears throat> um, the Protoss expansion. Comes down just a little bit earlier. He is gonna come down here and see that there's no shenanigans or cheesy shit going down. Second gas just now added on by gold. SCV is gonna get a quick scout and probably go ahead and head on home. This, oh, gets it right down. Let's see if the probe decides it wants to attack this SCV and delay. It does not, and he's lost quite a bit of hit points. This bro is going to die. Don't run through the mineral line because you're definitely dead then. Doesn't really matter. It's just a scouting probe. Most people plan on losing those anyway. SCV going to go ahead and head right on back home. Reaper is out. I believe he has a kill. He does. He took care of the scouting probe. Let's see if he can get out before that adept of the Mothership core does and try to get a uh, probe kill or two for our uh, friend here. Brush distance is kind of slow. He's going to run into the natural first, which isn't completed yet, so there are no probes here, but he is going to go ahead and jump on up into the main. Mothership core is out, so uh, yeah, it's probably going to get shoot away pretty fast. Bait out the overcharge, and the adept is out as well, so it's time for this reaper to go home and live to scout another day. Twilight Council is down. Warp Gate's on the way. I do think that uh, Glaives is going to be started as soon as this finishes up. Second Gateway being added on for our Protoss player. Double Marine Production for Jin. Mules being dropped. Fix your rally, bro. There we go. He found it. That was four SCVs up there, man. That was kind of uh, 
not fun. Looks like he's going to go ahead and go to work on this tower to block that off there. Stop the Adept Shades from getting directly into the natural. Still needs a wall off down here, but uh, having two points of access definitely makes it harder to defend. So I like this idea out of him. Uh, I'd actually like to see Gold do the same thing just to kind of force all the troops to come in from this angle here. Reaper going to come back in. Uh, this Adept is down here on patrol, so he is going to go ahead and punch this Reaper in the face if he can. Uh, one bomb just going to come down, whittle down the shields just a little bit on a couple of those probes. 33 workers for gold, 28 for gin. Chrono boost is great. Oh, and he's going blink. All right. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you, fam. Fine strategy. This pylon put on the back of the mineral line. Uh, that pretty much just helps ward off like liberators and goodbye reaper wrecked by a pylon get owned bro a couple marauders being added in I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure if Jin knows if this is going to be a stalker cop or not yet but it looks like he is going to go ahead and push out across the map try to do a little bit of damage by the time he gets all the way over there there uh, might be blink um Combat Shields did just finish. There's only three Stalkers here, but he does have Warp Gate. And there's a pylon right here. Two more Stalkers getting warped in. So now there's five and only one Marauder with this comp. Marauders do very, very, very well against Stalkers. So if this was like three or four Marauders, or or even, you know, just one more or two more, um, that would be a lot more beneficial for Jin's push, especially when they get their concussive shells and sh slow things down. These Stalkers and Adept are going to go ahead and chase away this small little push. It's not gonna, really going to be able to engage. Gold going to go ahead and drop down his third. We don't see a third command center just yet for our Terran player. But he is getting a starport, dropping that factory. Blink has completed. Stim is about 30% of the way done. Stalkers are pushing out on the map, trying to find that little contingency force there for Jin. I have to see if he can locate that at any point. I would look for medevac start to get pumped out as soon as that starport is done or as soon as the starport has a reactor. But either way, charge. Charge lots and stalkers. When the robo goes down, uh, it hasn't yet. Two more gates, but when the robo goes down, we're going to have to see what his choice for splash damage is because if Jin does go marauder heavy, which he's producing marauders two at a time right now, uh, just because he knows there are stalkers. Concussive shelves and plus one attack is on the way as well. So, he, you know, he know at this point he knows it's going to be blank because there's already that many stalkers and not that many adepts. So, he's getting the marauders to have those concussive shells and, and really add a lot of beef to his army. If he gets a lot of marauders out and there is no uh, splash damage out of the protoss, granted charge lots are very, very good. Um, two probes just kind of chilling, hanging out. A bunch of probes. That's a miss rally if I've ever seen it. There we go. One, two, couple of them are mining, but four of them are still sitting here being total assholes, taking a coffee break, and he cracks the whip and tells them to get back to work. Um, but yeah, man, this is a pretty scary force out of the Protoss. There's really not too much here. Only two medevacs uh, for our Terran player. He can definitely can't engage this yet. Um, more zealots getting added on charge is finished and a warp prism so I would look for him to move out across the map kind of shortly you need to back up man you can't take this yet charge lot's going to come in and get a little bit of damage done both medevacs are gone good kiting out of Jin. going to take out all and here comes the blink micro going to take out all of those uh, zealots to start out marauders are good but really super good blink micro going to try to get one more he does not but he does take down a, a bunch of units. Not exactly an even trade, but a fair one. Um, well played out of both players. Decent micro out of both. This Warp Prism is going to come up here and probably either morph in some Adepts or some uh, Charge Lots to harass that mineral line. And Jit's going to move it across the map. Now with this many Marauders and a Siege Tank, he could hold this many Stalkers and Charge Lots back. Unless those Charge Lots are allowed to get directly on top of the tank. Which they're going to go right around each other and there are the charge lots up in the prison looks like he's going to go ahead and take this down push it into the main try to get some scvs for his trouble the fifth is going down for gold man greedy 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 55 workers to 48 for gen and here goes the drop let's see how many scvs decide they want to go down 
Gonna go ahead and shoo away that prism for the moment, but there's nothing here to defend. Just a few marines to hit these char lots, and he's gonna have to fight with the SCVs. A 10, 11, 12, already going down, well played. And meanwhile, there's an engagement down here, and there are marauders and a tank on the high ground, which is gonna help, but these stalkers are targeting down the medevacs, and it's gonna make it really hard to engage. Uh, Liberator's gonna come down. Hopefully these Blink Stalkers don't get directly on top of them and focus them down. And there they are, blinking directly out. That Stalker is gonna go down. Um, I wanna say if those 10 workers didn't go down, that was a really good engagement for Jin. Uh, but right now, man, these fours, these Zealots are still up here being a problem. Another Warping goes down. I don't think too many SCVs went down this time. He was prepared with the Marines. But he is gonna go over here and start punching on this Prism. This Prism's gonna go right down. Okay, so now that's no longer a problem, and Jin can focus on his engagement down here. And now that he has this liberator, these liberators and these tanks on the high ground, it's going to be a lot harder for Gold to push in and engage here. That is a lot of charge lots, though, and one of those liberators might go down. He's not, but he's going to get this tank. He went around the, he went around the top and got the tank off the high ground. So, I would like to see Jin replace that with a few more, maybe. Um, that's going to help, even though charge lots are really good. But right now, Jin's fighting from behind. Uh, he's ahead in supply, strictly because of his army, but he's down 14 workers. He does have meals, but they don't equalize that much. Um, not 14 workers and 4 base versus 2 base, anyway. Um, he needs to get across the map and do some damage, or this Protoss is really going to be able to start cranking out units and, and become a problem for Jin. So go well played. He might get this. Oh, he's got to get it. Bang. Prism gone. No harassment for you today. And this force out of Jin sh should do well against this uh, Nexus. Going to micro back. Take out a couple of those zealots. There is no Storm or Templar archives for uh, gold, which would be super, super helpful. There is a Dark Templar, though. And it's going to start. Okay. He scanned it. Took out the fifth. Probably going to go ahead and back up for the time being. One tank, two more liberators being produced along with a whole bunch of bio for Jin. But he really, really, really needs to take a third. Uh, his main is getting kind of low. His natural still has quite a bit of minerals, but it's really, you know, not full. He's been mining his natural for quite some time. Um, he is going to need to take a third here eventually. I would look for him to drop that command center very soon. Man, that is a lot of charge lots. Okay, overcharge, double overcharge is going to go down. Trying to get uh, Jin to engage into this. This is a, a pretty good um, bio force here. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's looking grim, but it's not looking great. Jin is a very good player and he does well. Looks like he's going to try to walk these DTs right up in and get... And <laughs> Jin just on top of it shits all over that Dark Templar. Gonna try to bait out the double overcharge. Okay, there's not gonna be very many overcharges for a while. Scan gonna go ahead and grab that. Mother Shakur pushing a little further ahead than it should. And uh, he's gonna get shelled by this tank. And there's a couple Liberators up here trying to keep him from... Man, there's a lot of bio. The Blink Forward's gonna go ahead and immediately take out the tank. And Bio's left here to defend. Gonna take out the Sentry. So, Alright, good pick up and back up out of Jin. Still no third command center out of him. I would... Really, really, really like to see him drop. Oh, yep, there it is. There it is. I'm a liar. It's three quarters of the way done. There it is. Gonna go ahead and drop out. Use the last little bit of energy on these here medevacs. And a raven is out. That is gonna be helpful. He's gonna keep throwing DTs at him. He can't keep wasting scans for single DTs. That's uh, a really good trade off for uh, gold. You know, because energy on command centers is finite and it takes a while to recharge. A uh, one cyclone here is going to add a little bit of DPS up against that stalkers, and the blink forward going to pick off the cyclone immediately. Super aggressive blinks with these charge lot follow ups are are good. Did that raven go down? I'm not sure, but it looks like this whole force is going to go ahead and get cleaned up for Jin. And what does he have at home, man? Not too much. Hopefully, this is a planetary. It's going to be pretty hard to hold on to. And gold is going to move out across the map. And Sassy Kitty, it is now looking grim. This is going to be very hard to hold. War Prism on the way. Four reinforcements. Plus two attack. Man. So far, super well played out of gentlemen. Charge Lot's going to get right on top. The Blink 4, we're going to take out that Cyclone. Raven going to go down before it even gets anything done. Kited himself back into a corner. The boys are pulled. 
And I don't think Jin has an answer, man. There's just nothing left for him here. Seven army supplies fighting with SCVs versus Charizards, and there's the GG. STTE going to take this clan war. Damn. We got wrecked tonight, boys. GG's. Last game of the evening. Thank you all very much for hanging out. Forsaken, thank you very much for the bit donation. Very much appreciated. Um, any support we can get. So, any of you guys who aren't playmates, you know, hanging around. We do this three, four times, you know, three, four, sometimes five times a week. It's usually me, Swagger, you know, Passion or Ming, uh, casting these things and streaming these things. So, um, you know, if, if you like it and you want to see more good StarCraft content, more good StarCraft games, drop that follow button. Zlot, please link the social for us so they can go ahead and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so basically, they know what's going on all the time. Uh, I am Clarity. You can find me at twitch.tv slash ClaritySC2 underscore or on Twitter at Clarity underscore SC2 um, or anywhere Sonic Aftermath is. I'm here for almost absolutely everything. Um, again, we appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, and STTE is going to take this clan war 4-2. to two. Good games out of our guys. Much appreciated. A little bit better games coming out of STTE tonight. But, hey, well played. You can't win them all, right? Uh, I appreciate it. Signing off. Have a good night, nerds.